I was minding my own business yesterday, as I always do. When around 6 p.m. my time, I received a very surprising phone call from Megan. No, this is not clickbait. This is not clickbait. And she wanted me to know the real, because that's how she speak, the real truth of her real struggles. And why, you know, I debated a while whether I should talk about it or not. But then I thought, I talked to Thomas Markle because he called me immediately and uh, I posted this on the group chat that we have with the Royal Miss. By the way, we better see you there today. Um, and he brought up some things that I hadn't thought about it because I don't think that way like Meghan Markle. That's how nasty Meghan Markle is. That she might have recorded my phone call, our phone call, and she might twist it around, turn it around, and, you know, rearrange the words. So if I decided to talk about it first, because whoever hits first hits the hardest. And you can't defuse a bomb once it's gone off. You can only pick up the pieces. So I am going to be the one to defuse this bomb before it goes off. And it's gonna be on my time and how we do it. This is how we do it, people. Hola, mis queridos suscritos en español. Muchos de ustedes me han pedido cómo hacer poder leer en subtítulo mis videos porque no hablan el inglés. Aquí les voy a enseñar cómo. Se van aquí a esta, donde dice settings o configuración o esta manillita de ahí. Se van a subtítulos. Eh, allí van a escoger traducir o autotranslate. A mí me parece. Y ahí simple y sencillamente buscan el idioma. Aquí va a ser el español. Así que ojalá que la P o P Q R S. Vamos a ver acá. Por acá está el español. Una vez que lo aplican, ya comienzan a salir los subtítulos en español. Y eso lo pueden hacer con cualquier idioma. Puede ser ruso, chino, lo que sea. Así que se los agradezco mucho. Y gracias por ver mi video. Yes, nobody knew who Meghan Markle was at the height, height of her career as a supporting actress on a B-list or D-list cable show called Suits. It must be hard for a narcissist like Meghan Markle to, to know that. And it must be hard for her to know that without that husband with smelly breath who's high up on whatever it is, she is a nobody. She always needs to have him there, which must kill him which must kill her because again, she is always the supporting role to the main character. Now, it, I am always, you know, it's very surprising because she, I think they, they released just now a video of online bullying, the online bullying that is going on here, right? Oh, how she wants, and she dressed like a Virgin Mary, you know, like with that thing looking like a mix of Morticia and, and the Virgin Mary with blue. And the way, of course, how it is in this world. And what is it with the change? Of, I, I don't know who's telling her that she should speak that way because it's phony, it's boring. It's just terrible. Why doesn't she speak with a normal, fluid voice? No, everything is... It's rehearsed and contrived like she's constipated. And I'm sure she is because she's full of shit. <sighs> Yet, she goes on and starts calling people like me. To convince me of her struggles that her struggles, her struggles, I, I'm trying to speak like her, but I can't, I just can't do it. Her struggle, uh, it's just that she uses, she, use, she tries to really use the R's because she wants to sound really white. She wants you to know that she's really, really white. So her struggle, her struggle, I'm trying to talk to like her. Her struggles are real. But anyways, yes. 
I talked to Tom right after. And it's incredible how he feels in a position that he feels the need to explain certain things that I was telling him that she told me. And I told him, no explanation needed. Because clearly, as I said before, she must be constipated because she's full of shit. She started talking. And this is why I said to you, even, and, and you know what? This is a woman because she called me on the phone number that I use for my members only. So she had to get somebody to sign up or even herself as a member of my channel. This is why I haven't been posting a lot of things on my members channel, but I will start now uh, again. But she used that phone number to call me because I post, I, 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 I got a, a phone number just for my members so they can call me during our lives, members' lives. So I was called on that number, but I wasn't called on WhatsApp. I was called on a regular landline. And she wanted me to know that she was, her father was such a deadbeat that he would make her work on the set of Married with Children as a babysitter to other children because she didn't, he, can, he didn't give her any money. He couldn't make any money. She wanted me to know that Doria was doing incredibly well financially as a very successful uh, travel agent. And, and her and, and uh, Doria were traveling the world. And she, and you know why I also think Doria was involved in this phone call? Because I've done, I, I did my drug dealing, I'm sorry, my hair is driving me crazy. I did my drug dealing Doria uh, video yesterday. I suggest you go watch it. And I, they were pretty upset that I said drug dealing Doria because they found that offensive. And that Doria was very, very wealthy and doing very well. That Mr. Markle never, never gave him any alimony or child support. And that Doria dumped Meghan Markle on Mr. Markle because, and this is the thing that they, when they lie, when you lie, you better make sure that you're lying straight or that you have your lie pretty tight. Because they said that, uh, this girl said to me, Megan said to me that Doria dumped him at Mr. Markle because he was a deadbeat dad who abused Meghan Markle. Who was in a, who had an inappropriate relationship with Meghan Markle? That Tom Markle also had an inappropriate relationship with Meghan Markle. Keep in mind that Tom Markle Jr. was 15 when Meghan was born. She was a baby. Doria was there most of the time, high up on drugs, partying like crazy. I mean, where was Doria? Wasn't she taking care of her baby? She wanted me to know that Thomas Markle Jr. was kicked out of his own home when he was 17 or 18 because he was too much to handle by Mr. Markle. And Mr. Markle couldn't handle the fact that he was mistreating poor little Megan. How Samantha never drove her back and forth to school ever because Samantha was partying too much, being pregnant, having abortions. How she had to fend for herself in that household. How she felt that Tom Markle Jr. and, and Samantha were racist toward her. When I got this phone call, I immediately contacted my cousin who's a policeman and he said, he calls me Pat because you guys know my middle name is Patricia. So he said, Patty, just beware. Don't answer too many don't speak too much because they might be recording you no i did not record the conversation because i don't have that technology i got a phone from uh or i managed to get a phone from the united states but unfortunately it's locked <laughs> so i'm trying to get it unlocked and it's pretty difficult and my other phone i just i just don't think that way but my cousin was right 
So I kept my answers to monologues until the very end. Because I said to her, how can Megan, how can you have praised your father for a long time, up to 2016, if it was an abusive man, if it was a deadbeat, and he never protected you. Now, what many of you are going to say, Paula, maybe it wasn't Megan. No, at the beginning, she didn't identify herself as Megan. Actually, she never did, but it was her voice. And I know what many of you are saying. Maybe it was AI, and even Thomas Markle said that to me. But the way she talked, this was not a scripted phone call because she was reacting to my voices as well. And the things that she said, the way that she, you know how people have a way of speaking? And at the very end, when we were finishing the conversation, she wasn't referring to Megan as Megan. She was speaking on first person, telling me that I was a very mean person, that I should know better because of what she went through. She wasn't even saying what Megan went through, what I, I went through because of, you know, the abuse I went through uh, at the hands of my ex-husband. And I said to her, it doesn't make sense that drug dealing Doria, drug dealer Doria, would dump you on Mr. Markle's lap, a doorstep, if he was an abusive man who was a deadbeat father who didn't care about you. Especially if she was doing so well financially because then she wouldn't need to dump her daughter on Mr. Markle's footstep or at his door. Does that make any sense? Because as any loving mother would, if you have the financial means to take care of your son and not put, or your daughter and not put her at risk with an abusive, oh, and that Mr. Markle was an alcoholic, which is one of the reasons why he wasn't invited to the royal wedding. Because he was too much of a drunk, which of course is a lie. So Markle told me that he left at age 18 because Mr. Markle, Doria convinced Mr. Markle to move to Hollywood and Thomas Markle Jr. didn't want to leave his friends. So he got himself a room and, you know, and stayed behind. He was working, making good money a week as a, as, you know, as a teenager. Uh, he got his own room. Uh, he babysat Meghan Markle. He even wiped her smelly ass and her farts. Uh, Samantha was driving her back and forth as well. And Samantha, she, she said that Samantha was kicked out of Mr. Markle's house because she was pregnant, she was wild, she was, that that was the real reason why she got out of high school, which is BS. The number that I was called from was private, unknown. But I told you, my cousin is a policeman in the States. So I asked him to please trace my phone. I gave him my numbers. I've given him my details yesterday. We know that the number is a 416 number. And we know the name of that number. So it is incredible to me. I don't know what you, what you guys think. I mean, does my logic make sense? If Doria was doing so well financially, why would she need to dump Meghan Markle at the door, at the door of an abusive, according to the person who called me at the, at the doors of this abusive deadbeat father. How Mr. Markle had to declare bankrupt because bankruptcy because he couldn't afford anything. And he did it in order to not pay any child alimony, any, any alimony nor child support, and that everything was on Doria. I mean, this is insane, guys. I guess that Meghan Markle wants that narrative out, especially now that her brand is going to shit. Now that she has Samantha Markle's lawsuit right there, and now that she's been exposed, now that she's been called a lazy fucking grifter, what a way to start the new year. Now that they have the Africa parks going to crap, now that they're doing D-list, ultra D-list carpet, uh, red carpets in Jamaica, now that the, the truth about her children, non-existent children, is out, because remember the emails I got from the California uh, state saying that there's no such record, that no such record, the certificate of, um, they were going to extend a certificate of no records to me about Lilibet. How the doctor who delivered this woman, 
this this kid from this woman suddenly without any 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 no, no, notice to her patients quit to never be heard of again the same thing with the doctors with uh, with Archie she couldn't answer anything she just kept telling me when I answer and I ask questions with logic she would tell me that I was stupid that I was abusive and that she had her eye on me and that she was going to make sure that she kicked me out of the YouTube platform because I'm abusing her and I'm abusing Megan she said you're abusing me and then she she corrected herself and said, you mean I mean I mean you're abusing Megan this woman keeps getting a lot of abuse because of you you're racist and I said have you fucking looked at me I mean yeah European but still clearly there's a mix here <laughs> I mean, even I even my accent. I speak four languages and I have an accent in all of them. So I told her that she would have been a, I probably I should have bit my tongue, but I said at the very end that she should have benefited from a good spanking once in a while because had Mr. Markle spanked her once in a while she wouldn't have been maybe such a monster that oh i know she, she said that and i said if your mom was doing so well why did you say that you have to work at the age of 13 at bogart that yogurt place because you needed to help your family make ends meet and that you needed to make scrunchies you know that, those things for your hair in order to help too while at the same time having your mom taking you to korean bath naked spas naked so when I start asking this logic, when I start asking these questions, that's when her conversation got aggressive. Do you think I asked the right question? So if you suddenly hear on YouTube or anything else or someplace, me said, talking about beatings or spankings, that's what I meant. I did say Megan would have benefited from good spankings. Maybe that would have corrected her own white ass. But does that make any sense? Because to me, that call was to redeem Doria's image, trash the Markles. Oddly, <laughs> no racism from the from the royal family was mentioned. Siri, venite, mi amor, venite, mi cosita linda. No racism from the royal family was mentioned. insane isn't it and yes Megan I know it was you why don't you start working on telling the truth apologizing to your father apologizing to Samantha apologizing to Tom Markle jr. whose life you have destroyed you have destroyed his relationship with his family his reputation the same thing for Samantha and Samantha is a, is a woman wheelchair bound your father a heart attack strokes not a word no kindness never mind online bullying how about real life bullying to your parents to your father to your family and talk normally dude let me know what you think beautiful people